Hi, I'm Birdman Mel, and Becky and I are taking a moment to film why our company came out with its own line of yard cranes, and we have them in our backyard essentials group. I don't know about you, but I don't like when my hooks do that sort of thing. We're not going to show you the top of the hook because we have some great vendors that have some great products, but we've learned over the years, and we're just going to change them a bit, and uh, that way you don't have that sort of thing going on with your bird feeder uh, foe, whether it's got a bird feeder on it or a plant. We're going to take a break, and I'm going to show you the solution. Hi, it's Birdman Mel, and we're continuing our little thing about why we made a bird feeder pole and in, in, uh, what kind. This is the bottom of the pole. Notice it's not just a skinny flange out here. What happens when you have just that skinny flange? Uh-oh, there she goes. The minute that it's at all wet or any weight gets on it, we intensely put big old flange out there. But what I love about that is when this old man goes, uh, uh. see how easy it goes in the ground? It comes in your box and is long, and we go as tall as we can with current FedEx regulations to ship them efficiently to the stores. And again, get these kind of things all at your local, your local bird uh, supplier, uh, because they know how to do this. They have similar if they don't have ours, and they can help you on placement. We're putting these, this one along with the other one, out in the most open area of our yard that's yet next to the woods. This is where I normally see Orioles. And, you Mexico, Missouri residents, you know, this is part of my war against my neighbor, my accountant that I told all these secrets to 10 years ago. And Orioles are a creature of habit. They come back to the same place every year. So we're just trying to get them maybe to sneak on over here a little bit more than what they have. I like this pole because we got little notches on this. Most things don't have that notch. I'm not sure Becky can get it. And also there's a groove here on the pole. I'm gonna push it down and hey, it's locked in there. It helps make it very, very stable. And what I'm gonna put on this pole in the secret weapon age, and I needed that uh, little copper S hook you tried to give me back. Oh, you okay. know. Okay, we're gonna do this, this orange thing. As we've told you, fill it full of water. Ants can't swim, keeps them out. Like this guy, cause he's great big and orange. Oranges on him, jelly on him, our secret bird berry jelly. And we got that on there. The other one I got I'm gonna put up is one of our beautiful copper hand twisted ones. We twist this real copper here in Mexico. It's gonna hang that rascal up there. We do sell just the little hooks are really pretty. And you put your jelly here, an orange and an apple. And I put that apple on there to remind you that it's not just about Orioles. Many, many other birds, I mean a gazillion birds that don't eat seed will eat fruit. All you gotta do is go back and look at that video that we shot. We recorded our Facebook live session today and it's at songbirdstation.com. Now I want you guys, I hope you can keep a secret. I didn't hang this one up because I like it so much. This is gonna be my mom's Mother's Day present. Real pretty little uh, leaves here, hand twisted. And she loves feeding her Orioles jelly. So uh, it's gonna be fun, but keep the secret everybody or I'm gonna get you. Have fun this weekend, folks. Remember what Easter's all about. Tomorrow he will be risen indeed.